Okay, we're back. With a little bit lower bit rate, but eh. My hair is a mess. My glasses are filthy. Hold on. It's really amazing how quickly these things get dirty. Covered in dust. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the game. Ah, but Prosecutor Gavin's case is airtight. Let me where I might have been lying to protect my sheep. How can I rely on her testimony? Wait. What about yesterday in the detention center? Center. Hurrah. About the case? What about the case? You want to tell us about Mr. Latouche's death? Hurrah. Thanks, meeting's over. Try on. Mushy was trying to tell us something. I know it. Maybe the best thing to do is ask him. Under oath. Very well, the court finds the defendant. Uh, what was his name again? Objection! Objection! Your Honor! No, that wasn't it. It, it was something like Marquis or M Mr. Justice. Your Honor, before you declare our verdict, I would like to call another witness. Exactly who else do you need to hear from? A witness who, until now, has not been given a chance to speak in this court. Because he doesn't speak English. You don't mean... I do! The defense calls defendant Maisha to buy to the stand! What? But he doesn't speak English! We use an interpreter! Interpreter? I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. I only speak a few phrases, such as I love you and where is the toilet. The defense would like to require a Lami Ra as the interpreter. Lami Ra? But there's a possibility she's protecting the defendant. But she'd be interpreting for the defendant. Why would she lie? This is most unusual. Ha ha ha. here for it. Here, Judge. The, the, the prosecution increases the defendant's request. Let's see, is the stream on? Yes, it is. If Amurai lies, I'll be able to tell. Even my limited knowledge of their language should be enough for that. Well, if both prosecution and defense are for this, I've, I see little cause for refusal. Finally, some progress! Brief, please show defendant Lam and Lam the defendant and Lamurai to the witness stand. I suppose there is a first time for everything. Shall we proceed? Your name to begin with. If you would, Lamira. Yes. He says, Mashitopa is defendant. Hmm, this is certainly a first for this courtroom. But if we really needed an interpretation of that message in particular. So far, so good. Very well, Mr. Justice. If you would. Huh? If I would what, Your Honor? Would what? You caught the defendant to the stand, did you not? What would, you, what would you have him testify about? What do I want him to testify about? Ugh, I think I hadn't thought that far yet. Polo, aren't you going to ask him what he was about to tell us yesterday? How can I if I don't know what you're saying? Excuse me for a moment, if I might speak? Yes, Lamy Ra. Just now, Mashi said Terrell is something about he wish he wishes to testify. Mashi wants to testify about, about something? What, would, what could it be? What sort of testimony is he talking about? One moment, please. Ah, the suspense is killing me! What? 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 Well, Lamira? According to Mashi, 
He has proof of his innocence. What? What? This is a surprise. Yahoo! Victory, Apollo! We did it! This is sounding too good to believe, and I know what that usually means. Well, if that's true, then this is Fife's testimony. Lamua, I mean, Mashi, please testify to the court. Very well. He says that the words of Mr. Latus's death came, to, came as a great shock. If the king truly followed the lyrics of my song, I, that is, he, could not have done it. He says that because the lyrics are in English, he does not understand them. Hmm, I see. He would have understood the English lyrics of the, uh, to the song. That would prevent him from following them so closely. I wondered what he meant by proof. Why, he would only have to ask Lamira to know the meaning of that song. Lamira, did you ever explain the lyrics to that, of that song to him? I did tell him generally what the song was about, but never in so much detail, and, never, and he never asked. As my after repeating warning already flattened that forehead, Lamira might be protecting the witness. Well, anyway, let us proceed with the cross examination. Mr. Justice, Justice, if you would. Yes, Your Honor. Something's hidden in that testimony, I know it! I'll just have to trust my bracelet to tell me where. It worked yesterday, it'll work today! Okay, so the bracelet is active. Proof of innocence. Let's press him first. Were Marshy and Latus close? Yes, after we tired around the world of them two together. Lamiwa, this is Marshy's cross examination, not yours. But I knew the answer. This is a court of law. No play by the book. I understand. And Prosecutor Gavin's tough? He's really tough! And she says he was very good friends with Mr. Latus. Mr. Latus was always a gentleman, never angry. He got along quite well. I never dreamed something like this would happen. Would happen. But if the killing truly followed the lyrics of my song, the guitar serenade, correct? Yes, the crime followed the lyrics of, my, of the song. The theft of the keyring, the burning guitar, and the bullet. This is why it could not have been me. I said this he could not have done it. But I could not have done it? You mean... It is very simple. But she could not have done all the things that happened that day. Or all those things followed the song lyrics closely. Okay. Wouldn't it be difficult for him to perform without knowing the meaning of the lyrics? He didn't know what the song was about. It's mood, shall we say. If this was enough to play by. That was more... Um... Clavier. I told him that it was a song about the guitar and love. It's... It's not exactly... Not actually the guitar that's in love, strictly speaking. Well, perhaps I misunderstood. Ah, no, not really. Yours is uh, also a valid interpretation. Um, okay? No, it is my fault. I too... I am too used to singing in Bourguignon. It is much easier than trying to understand these English lyrics. Yay! I knew he was innocent! I believe he is too, Trucy. I do. What's wrong, Apollo? You got a tummy ache or something? Something's hidden in the testimony. It's the truth, I'll find it. Okay. Came as a great shock. But if the killing truly followed the lyrics of my song, I, that is he, could not have done it. Let's try this.
Whoa. I'll close some tabs. Um. I'm guessing that this time, the. The tell is in her and not. Yeah, it's her. Or him, sorry. Let's try that again, let's see. There's something in her face that changes. No. I can only see her face, so I'm I'm guessing it's in there. But is it, if the killing truly follows the lyrics of my song, that is what she is saying right now. She's like staring blankly at me. No, nothing. Could not have done it. Hmm, I think it's in here, maybe. He says that. Because the ling lyrics are in English. He looks at the side. Gotcha! gotcha! Mushy, you can't fool my eyes. You glance toward her the very moment Lummy Ra said the word English. Why? And don't bother interpreting that, he understands me. Mushy, tell the truth. You can understand English, can't you? W what are you saying? Of course he can't. Ra 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 ra. Ra 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 ra. Does he continue this charade? It's not justice. Mushy says this. I know the word English. Huh? Before coming to this country, he heard me speaking in he heard me speaking English. He learns the name for this language, that is all. What? Give me a break! Is that, is that such an unusual word to understand? Do you not know Espanol, for instance? Well yeah, but I'm sorry, but he truly does not understand your language. Well, explain this! How does he know the crime followed the lyrics? Have you always been such a suspicious-minded lad? It is simple. So simple it hardly requires an explanation. He read about it in the newspaper. The newspaper? The Virginian Daily Bugle. You can buy it in this, con in this country these days, you know? They already have begun to report about this case in our homeland. I was right! What is wrong, Mr. Justice? Your eyes. They are quite fe fierce all of a sudden. Mashi is lying! Maybe it's time to show them proof that he's lying! Which is, of course, the Virginian Daily Bugle. Bugle? Buggle? Eh. It doesn't mention the lyrics of La Mirage Ballad. Take that! Take that! I have here a Virginian newspaper, the Virginian Daily Bugle, Bugle, as a matter of fact. Indeed, there is a feature about feature article about the case. Could you read this for me, Mashi? Mm. That's right. It doesn't mention the lyrics. What? What this is all about? I'm sorry, Mashi. You couldn't have read about it about the lyrics in the Virginian newspaper. 
Does this mean? I don't know to see how it is possible. Ah, I know. You must have heard the lyrics when the police were doing it of questioning. Yes. Not possible. The subject of the lyrics was not brought up in police questioning. I read. The, I read. The, I read the full report myself. So the lyrics weren't in the newspaper, and the police didn't mention them. The only place you could have heard them was in this courtroom. In English, no less. The witness will explain herself, uh, himself. But she says, he says... Yes. It is true, I read the newspaper. But this is not where I learned of the lyrics. I was mistaken. Now I remember. You remember? He says he heard of the lyrics from me. What? Is this true, Lamura? Yes, I'm afraid I had forgotten it myself. What? Then it looks like Herr Ford's been jumping to conclusions again. It seems so, yes. No, no! no I was onto something! I know it! I can't let it slip away! I think I... Okay, it's back to top, yeah. Time is an issue today. Mr. Justice, are you finished with the cross-examination? What are you going to do, Apollo? If I'm going to keep on cross-examining, I'd better have an angle of attack. Or else... <gasps> My bracelet's still reacting. Your Honor, please allow, to, please allow me to continue. If you must, you must. Very well, witness. I understand. It was I. Okay, now I have to do that again. I just noticed her own tell again. Do it again. Gotcha! gotcha! Lami Ra, I'm currently cross-examining Mashi. Why should you be uncertain? Me uncertain? Me uncertain? Yes, you swallowed the very moment you told the court. It was I who explained. I see there is little point in trying to hide anything from you. Lami Ra, you are... Are you indeed protecting someone? That is not a question with a simple answer. To tell the truth, I do not believe it myself. Then allow me to answer for you. Namura, are you protecting? Mashi Dubai. You are protecting Mashi. That's why you lied and told us that you had explained how the crime followed the song. Hello, Plusle, how are you? I don't fault you for trying to help, but this is not the way. Mashi, I believe you didn't do it, really. I trust you. But you've lied to us twice. And now you have Lamira lying on your behalf. If this is going to work, you have to trust me too. You two lie your two lies cover a simple truth. You understand English. You have to. Ah! Bit meh. Okay. I'm doing alright. Witness, is this true? Do you understand English? Yes. A little. Only. What? First he could see. Now he can talk. And you did not know about this Lamira? I... No, I did not. It is quite a surprise. How many secrets is this witness hiding? Last. This is... Last! Mashi, could you tell us what really happened? No shooting! I did no shooting! So you weren't in the dressing room when I heard when I heard those two gunshots, correct? Apparently the answer to that question isn't simple either. 
I was in dressing room behind desk. Manager, here, here on the floor. Which would be after the shooting, right? Then there is voice. Voice or voices? Was it you and Emma, Paul? So when Mushy le went into the dressing room, Mr. Latouche had already been shot. And then we came to the door. Panel high up! I take off! Run away! Run away! So it was you who escaped through that air vent! Ha ha ha! As the prosecution has held all along, no less. So the defendant has admitted to being at the scene. Might, it, might we take this as a confession? OBJECTION! Objection! No! He's clearly denied that he did it! I know shooting! Manager on floor! I'm already on floor! Objection! The victim had already been shot, you say? I find that hard to believe! The defendant understood the song lyrics. He was as succeed as a crime. This can only mean one thing! He is a shooter! Does the defendant have anything to say to this? He's climbed up, Apollo. Well, let's ask, let's ask Mr. Justice. Will you require any further testimony from the witness? Is that it? Is there nothing else I can get to get him to testify about? Wait, no, of course there is. What is this cocoon anyway? Rob, oh, Rob. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing voice acting, but uh, I don't know how and where to start. Um, the, co the cocoon, the seek is is a potent cure. A cure? Well, Mashi, are you a smuggler? Rawr, 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 rawr. He won't tell me. The cocoon has to have something to do with this. Mashi, please tell us the truth for your own sake. No. No more speak, not to any of you. So much for your precious toss, Telfo Red. Hey, you were the one who didn't believe him! <laughs> yeah. Regardless, this brings us to an impasse. It does seem that the defendants and the defendant are at odds. I doubt we are likely to learn anything more of the value sh should this continue. I see no other book. No other course but to declare a five minute recess. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the defense will work things out with the defendant so that we might proceed. Defense lobby number two Apollo Juice. Apollo Eustis. That's justice. Better learn how to say it if you ever want to get some. Believe, I know shooting! Why she claims Mr. Latouche was already down on the ground when he entered the room? Maybe it was a trap and he walked right into it? Uh, Mia is about, yeah. Suddenly, I hear a revolver. Close, very close. Said I hear a voice. You heard gunshots? Yes, it's true. I heard a revolver, but only sound. But you're saying you went into the dressing room? And found Mr. Latouche already dead? And then you heard shots? That's true. So, you were at the scene of the crime when you heard those shots? And you escaped through the... And you escaped through the air vent? I know. Huh? What do you... What do you know? What do you know? I know of opening vent. I can leave stage and back, backstage. So the vents w went to both the stage and the backstage area. Is that what he ma means? Hey, he's right. Look, Apollo. Look, Apollo. Uh, yeah. But how did you know it was connected like that? Wait, I bet his father was the architect who designed the hall or something. I hear this from Magician. Magician? Don't look at me! A magician, huh? <laughs> well, at least we're clear on one thing. Well, she does speak up sometimes, but, you know, I just let her, like, enjoy the stream the way she wants to. Like, 
so he doesn't have to talk. Well, at least we're clear on one thing. Why she didn't shoot Mr. Latouse? Yeah, but what does that leave us with? We're supposed to say he went into the room to find the body and then he heard the shots? That one's going to... That one's going to go over well in court. Yeah, she's allowed to learn. <laughs> that one's going to go... Jesus, those blue letters. That one's going to go over well in court. Not. Apollo, you're his defense. You're supposed to believe whatever he says, even lies. That's what Daddy always told me. Um, I'll just pretend you misheard him. Every time. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. <laughs> so, what do we do? You're sure... You're sure you won't testify, Mashi? I... No talking, no. Well, it was worth a shot. That cocoon. Good morning, Godfather. How are you? I can't go um Can't go home? Ra 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 ra. I can't go home to Bosnia. I need a, I do not want to go um The penalty for take, t taking a cocoon from Virginia is death. That's right, it's punishable by death. Of course, he's scared. Oh well, I guess we'll have to try a different approach. That's the spirit, Apollo. So, what's your plan? If Mashi won't testify about it, we'll have to get someone else to testify. Someone else? I think we're out of time. Let's have let's get back in there. Right. Courtroom number three. Court is now back in session. Mr. Justice, have you sorted things out with the defendant? Yes, Your Honor. We had a good talk. Very well. So will he testify? Your Honor, the defendant will not testify. What? Shame, and here I thought this was your big chance to turn the case around. Actually, it is. The defense would like to approach this case from a different angle, Your Honor. A different angle? If Mashi won't testify, then I know who will. I would like to cross-examine the witness in this case, Lamy Ra. Lamy Ra? What are you up to now? I sought to determine yesterday that Lamy Ra te Lamy Ra's testimony was in insubstantial. There is nothing you can. Lamy Ra was taken to the hospital yesterday with injuries. What happened? Um, well, oh, um, I'm also doing very good. Thank you, Godfather. She was assaulted, Your Honor. Assaulted? Assaulted? Someone wanted Lamy Ra dead. Thankfully, she was able to save herself. What? I've heard no such reports. Prosecutor Gavin. Why would anyone be out to kill Lamy Ra? Can you think of a reason? Well, think of how she is known in our country. A singer from overseas who doesn't speak English, yes? Yet someone tried to keep her mouth shut. Who could that have been? You don't think? I do! It was the same person who shot Mr. Latouse. The killer was afraid of her, afraid of what she might say. The defense believes that something was hidden in her testimony yesterday. Something that the killer doesn't want getting out. So, am I to understand that this is what you are saying? Namely, that there is a nugget of truth in Lamy Ra's testimony? A nugget we have yet to uncover? Exactly. Hmm. If Lamy Ra... If Lamy Ra was attacked, this has serious, serious implications.
Hmm. Which? Okay. Very well. There were there were some vague points in a testimony during yesterday's trial. Perhaps we did not inquire as deeply as we might have as we might have into some. The court will hear Lamira's testimony once more. <laughs> Good morning, Nightbot. How are you? Sabira, I must apologize. We must ask you to stand again and speak. You need not apologize. I know that Mashi is innocent. But I will do it. I will do all that I can until this call realizes this. Let's review your testimony from yesterday. You told us you heard two gunshots and the shooter's voice through the window. And that the voice belonged to Darion Crescent, yes? That is correct. At which point, I proved she could not be correct. She couldn't have heard any of those things. A small window at the scene was closed. Closed and was found to be quite sunky. Nightbot is actually pretty useful. I don't have any, like, all the, like, um, all the spam protection things uh, are off. So there's no, no issue with Nightbot. It's only here to, like, fulfill a few tasks, such as, like, telling, uh, making people aware of that they can donate and that they can follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Discord. Uh, and song requests. But I'm not turning those on right now. You have nothing to say to that, Mr. Justice? I don't know exactly what yet, but I, but I do know there's some, something in there. There is, it seems, much you do not know. And yet it is my duty to hear him out. Perhaps the witness would be so kind as to testify once more to the court. You get purged by me or by Mia if you do that. But... Oh, you my channel link somewhere else, you mean? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Of course, Johanna. But I, uh... Okay, I'll see you in a minute. I need to go. Eh, wrong. <laughs>